Well, we're enjoying some uh, bright sun at times this week. It's been uh, still, of course, brutally cold uh, and in some cases colder than others uh, with some of those high temperatures. Yes, we, yesterday we reached a high of six degrees. That was as warm as we'd been all week long. Uh, so that's the, the positive in all of this, I guess. Uh, that was still very cold for this time of the year, but uh, warmer than recent days and beautiful imagery from some of the uh, the coloring at sunset. Just a, a gorgeous picture from one of our viewers near Kellogg. This is from uh, Stephanie Marshall and uh, yeah, really interesting colors, inter -tex interesting texture in those clouds. I think it's a little, uh, of course, a little darker now. We're going to have a little bit of sunshine to start the day, but eventually clouds will invade. We'll have a grayer day for the afternoon with the onset of snow in our weather picture. But right now, looking northward, here's our Lewis Donato camera. Temperatures very cold this morning, 9 below zero. It feels like 18 below. The wind's not particularly strong, but it doesn't take much wind when you're this far below zero to create a much colder wind chill index. Three mile per hour winds. Again, 18 below the current feels like temperature. It's 90 degrees below zero in Rochester at the airport. Nine also sub zero at Dodge Center. Uh, Mason City five below and 11 below in Red Wing. Uh, some passing clouds. Otherwise, a lot of stars overhead. Pretty quiet morning, just a very cold one. 25 below the official wind chill in Rochester. Air pressure rising 30.60 inches of mercury. And with those very cold numbers, it's not surprising to see that we are in a wind chill advisory. The entire area is in it until 10 o'clock this morning. Wind chill levels 20 to 30 below zero. We have some light snow to go with that. Uh, a lot of this running into dry air initially, so it's not reaching the ground, but eventually there will be some snow building in from the west. Uh, uh, the heart of that area of low pressure is still crossing uh, the Missouri Valley. Well, it's going to make a, its way into the area, and eventually that band will expand even northward. So southern Minnesota will also get in on, on those snow chances this morning. A couple of light snow showers this morning developing, especially after about 10 o'clock in north Iowa. And then for the afternoon hours, we see more and more of that snow is spreading across the area to the east and northeast. And that will actually eventually wind down uh, following the evening commute around 9 or 10 o'clock. So look for some afternoon snow with less than an inch of accumulation, a little bit of uh, minor coating, just enough to make things maybe just a little slick for that evening commute. Another chance of snow uh, late tomorrow evening into the overnight hours, winding down first thing Saturday. So mainly a Friday night event with another coating of less than an inch of snowfall. And then beyond that, just really cold sunshine for the weekend. 10 below zero for that morning commute this morning. The occasional sun and clouds with uh, the cloud cover slowly increasing. We see that in our day planner. Is it snow starting around noon or one o'clock and, and lasting through the afternoon at the high of only one degree above zero? The winds at least fairly tame, keeping that wind chill still though 15 to 20 below zero at best today. High of one degree dropped to around seven or eight below uh, by around this time tomorrow morning with uh, daytime wind chill indices in the teens below zero. But for the most part, we start much colder than that. And we'll be in that same really cold range later tonight. Clouds increase. We watch that in future track. There's that snow coming in the heart of that band right through North Iowa, but southern Minnesota gets a little uh, minor coating as well with less than an inch of accumulation. That system moves out. Another system comes in for the west. We'll have limited sun to start the day tomorrow. Then the clouds thicken for the afternoon and by evening. Another round of snow comes in. Now the heart of this band again south of us, but we'll see at least a chance of that snow grazing the area heading into Saturday morning with then clearing skies and really cold sunshine for the rest of Saturday. Highs below zero again for much of the weekend. Uh, today look for less than an inch in southern Minnesota, as much as an inch, maybe a little more in a couple of spots in North Iowa, but otherwise for the most part less than an inch of snow in the majority of the area today and the same situation tomorrow night. Another small chance of snow next Wednesday. Uh, temperatures though, in the meantime looking extremely Extremely cold Sunday, especially Valentine's Day. Well, last Sunday we had a f high of five below zero, and it looks like we'll do that again this Sunday, becoming an, an odd tradition. Hopefully the last time we'll have to do that. Uh, but then we do see improvement next week with teens above zero. 27 would be the seasonal average. We'll look for highs around one today in the meantime in Rochester, uh, one below in Mason City. Winona 5 above zero. Uh, increasing clouds, snow this afternoon, but less than an inch of accumulation. North winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Snow this evening, then clearing off late, a low of 12 below zero. The wind chill as cold as 25 below. Seven day forecast, sub zero highs throughout the weekend. Looking at a slow warm up though through the heart of next week, Jess. So things could get a little slick later on. Yes, unfortunately, a little snow to go with the really cold weather.